Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is a craft with me. I'm making an ATC card that is a summer theme. So I already have my um, background cut out two and a half by three and a half. And I have some popsicles and things over here that I'm going to glue on. So not sure how this angle is working out. This is the first time I've done it like this, so we'll see how it goes. I really like this summer loving piece. I cut it off of the bottom of this card. Um, so I wanted to put that right here. I'm trying to make sure I get it straight. I always like to press it down real good to make sure that it is adhered real good. And it's a little long, so I'm just going to trim the edge a little bit. There we go. And then I think I'm going to put this banner. Oh, I need to move it up. Let's see if I can do this without ruining everything. There wasn't enough room for the banner, so let's try it again. make sure before I stick it down. Yeah. Good thing I was using glue sticks so that way I could pull it back up. Gives it a little bit more time for you to work with it. Okay, and then I think I'm going to put this little banner that I cut out of cardstock right here on the bottom. And this ATC is for a swap on swap bot and it's summer theme. I don't know if I already said that. And the paper pad that I'm using is this, this little 6x6, six six, and it's um, American Craft. I've had this for at least a year or longer. And then I think I'm going to this little ice cream cone down here. doesn't want to stay. Okay. I have that so far. And I think I'm going to put this snow cone in the middle. And this popsicle. These sunglasses. And I think this popsicle right there. I 
think I'm gonna do it like that. I was gonna use my liquid glue, but I think I'm just gonna stick with this glue stick that never wants to stand up. And I thought these popsicles would be really cute for um, these popsicles and ice cream and all that. It would be really cute for the summer theme. And these popsicles were actually stickers that I got in a swap or something like that probably last summer. So last summer I stuck them to uh, paper and then fussy cut them so that I could use them for embellishments. And I'm finally getting to use them up. Okay, this is how it looks. I might add some sequin or something, maybe, but for now, I'm I'm going to think about that. Now I'm going to find a card, um, like a chipboard kind of cereal box card for the backing to make it um, stronger. With ATC's cards, you're not supposed to be able to bend them. So um, I cut this out of a Pop-Tart box and I use cereal boxes and any, any kind of boxes I can find. And it is two and a half by three and a half also. And so what you do is you just glue it onto the chipboard or whatever you call it. And this I'm using the wet glue. What I usually do is I smear it on there with my finger to make sure that I get every little bit and also it um, the way there's not big globs just like that find something to wipe my finger on And now I'm going to stick my uh, cardstock background ATC onto the uh, chipboard that I cut out. And I usually kind of like move it around that way it grabs it real good and then kind of and then press it down and sometimes the glue comes out the side so you just got to keep wiping on it. And I flip it over to make sure that it's all lined up real good. And then I press it down with my bone folder. I varnish it real good. Burnish it? I don't know. I don't know what that word is. I'm just pressing it down. making sure that it gets good and glued down because you definitely don't want your background cardstock to come up from the cardboard it needs to be sealed down real good Right here, the cardboard, a little piece of it is sticking out. 
and can't find my scissors. So I'm just gonna trim it a little bit, just a hair. I think it's uh, pressed down really good. It seems to have all of the edges pressed down and glued real good to the cardboard box or zero box, whatever you want to call it, chipboard. So this is the front. And then on the back, whoops, that's where you write um, like the name of the swap or uh, the name of this card and then I usually put um, swap by or swappers corner you know wherever the event or the swap is from and then the date my name and then my username and I think I'm gonna look through let's see look through the my sequin and see if there is I should add that kind of need something I think some kind of bling I have the green and yellow mainly going on I don't know if I need to Let's see what this looks like. It kind of needs something, but there's not a whole lot of room. Because normally I would put like a sequin up here in this uh, top corner above the S. Right up here. I would probably normally do something like that. There's not a whole lot of room, so let's see if this fits. If it even looks good. Mm, I don't know. I could probably put a sequin over here in the. I don't know if you can see that. I haven't glued it down or anything because I'm still trying to decide. Over here, I might put a sequin there. Um, because of this, your eye is drawn to this side. So if you put something over here, it kind of balances out. to see if I want the green sequin or if I want something else. I definitely don't think I want that. It might be this green sequin right here. Let me see here. All kinds of goodies. Let's see. I'm looking through all my sequin and my uh, bling and seeing what what I have and what would look good. this gold also because because this um, ATC is mainly like 
yellow and green. I didn't mean for it to come out that way, but it ended up that way. And so, since all of this is green, I may want to see if this gold or yellow looking sequin would look better. I think I like the gold because um, it stands out a little bit more since it's has because of the green background so I think I'm gonna go with that one Put all this other back up Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this um, gold sequin since the background right here is green. The green sequin looked okay, but um, this one stands out a little bit more. And I'm going to use my wet glue. I don't know which would be better. I guess I'm just going to put it on here. I was trying to put it on the sequin, but I think it would be better just to put it on here. And I kind of hold it down for a few seconds to just make sure that it glues down good. Huh. So, I'm going to let that dry before I mess with it again because I just pulled it up. So, that is my Summer Theme ATC. And after the sequin glues, then I will write on the back of it. I think it turned out really cute. So, I hope you like this video. Um, if you do, give me a thumbs up. And um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit that little notification bell so that way it notifies you uh, the next time I upload. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.